What is going on YouTube? Uh, this is driver's time. Uh, it's about, you know, it's the holidays and things have gotten a little crazy, of course, and hectic, so I didn't want it this in a while, but I want to just accumulate a little, and again, I know this, this video is going to get the most views, so about the Capcom thing that just happened yesterday. So, this is what kills me. So, and it's sad. And this is why I titled the video, we, we, gamers are doomed to repeat. I mean, it's not even gamers, it's human nature again. We repeat the same thing over and over again. Now, let me put it this way. Do not take it as, because I'm not against anybody like this. If you legitimately ain't happy that there are games coming out for, and sadly, I wanted to do a bigger video about this. I might still do it. But if you're, if you're legitimately happy of Mega Man 11, good. Game comes up, buy it, enjoy it again. I don't want the industry to fall apart again. For what, contrary for what I'm gonna about to say, I don't have nothing really bad towards Capcom in the regard of they make stupid decisions. But the, the 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 super cheering of oh man, we got one, uh, one game is changing all the bads that Capcom or stupid decisions Capcom make. I don't get it. And the thing about it is. I could, I, this stuff, this is a repetition of Activision, this is a repetition of EA, this is a, of all these things, so one game changes everything? As, I, I, let, me, let me help you out, as a Metroid fan, I, you know, everybody hated, oh, all the M, and they also hated, you know, Federation Force, and I, and so, and now you have a good game, a good game, and people are like, oh, and you saw a lot of people say, oh, this is good, this is Metroid game back to where it's supposed to be when Metroid returns. Even though they hated the whole, that the fan game got shut down, but they talked it, but I was like, well, let's see if that happens, and sorry, it didn't blaze a chance at the fire, because I am apprehensive of how people think of human nature. As Brownie would tell me, he's like, oh, the, you, the reason you're corrupt was the time because you predict things. He was cracking a joke and say, but you ain't no fortune teller. No, I'm not a fortune teller. But I see, but I recognize, I recognize patterns. And I know when people say stupid stuff, or oh, people, that's why, again, I always say, people are stupid, individuals are smart. Now, I know for sure this video will get claimed because I'm playing Xenoblade Chronicles X2 soundtrack in my car. And the reason I like that because it's, it's basically uncompressed to a degree of course it's a little because it's, it's a CDA but still but turn the music and hopefully my voice is coming over it very well but anyway it's one game so let me get this straight this is the after collection could have put on a Nintendo console. Was on a Nintendo console. The, the thing that insults me the most again, the last the last game that the, that the game in a game that's inside a Disney collection, DuckTales, Gary Master, sold over a mill on the Wii U, a dead console. But it made sense to put it on the other consoles and it flopped. Mega Man Collection 2. Okay. Didn't even came on the 3DS. Even though in Mega Man Collection 1. 3DS sold way more and it came out later than the others. It wasn't day and day. But it sold better. So you would think, okay, they have that information. Wow, let's put Mega Man 2 on the 3DS. No. They couldn't do that. I remember watching a um, Go Nintendo video when somebody commented like well they can't do that they can't put a Mega Man X um, game on the Switch because cause the guy was like ask, they, they asked a question about the Switch thing and he's like they can't put a, um, a Mega Man X 7 and 8 on the Switch because of the graphic and I'm like where do you people come from so you tell me a, game, a console that can run Breath of the Wild never less Doom but in some kind of technical aspect but whatever and Skyrim all that stuff and I, oh, I want to get a video about Skyrim because that one I got I got a beef for Nintendo about that one but you telling me a console can't run that could do that can't do with the physics engine and everything can't do a, a X wow and that's the thing that's hurting everything then Marvel vs. Capcom came out Capcom put his foot in his mouth and that became that's a flop. Now you have um, 
Okami HD. Has anybody heard anything about Okami HD selling the charts or even get anybody do a big thing about it? That the game's out now on other consoles? No. Why? Because he sold the best in the Wii, didn't sell on PlayStation 2, didn't sell on PlayStation 3. I will, I, I, I can tell you right now, it ain't gonna sell on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. And that's the sad part. So now, we have Viz, uh, 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 Revelations. So, uh, Revelations came out. Now, around Revelation, they didn't BS nobody. It came a little bit after, but here's the thing. The reason I respect Revelations because they put effort into the gyroscope and making it unique to the Switch. Just like they did with Resident Evil 4. I like that, and I respect that. I don't care if the game came out loud. Are you put in attention to the make the game run well? Hey, I'm cool with that. I bought Monster Hunter Stories. Now Monster Hunter Stories is on, on, um, on mobile in Japan. But I bought Monster Hunter Stories. It might not light up the chart. Good game. Like it. Is Again, I've, it's basically a better version to me. And I know a lot of people out there. And my, my Pokemon friends. Again, my sister's a big one. You know, to me, it revitalized a little bit of the Pokemon um, love that I have in, in that genre. Because I got a little, you know, tired of it a little bit. But I bought those games. Not because of Capcom being what it is, not, not doing like an EA thing. It's just because the developing team who worked on those games make sure to be what it is. But now we have, but now that Mega Man Collection failed, they're gonna play it on the Wii, on the Switch. I should say, sorry, on the Switch to get to get whatever money you remnants you can have back. Then they have an X Collection. Okay, whoopee. Those who got it, I mean, I have me an X Collection already, and I'm good with what I got. I'm gonna do something that a, a lot of gamers, I mean, I'm talking about the, these These are the type of gamers I'm talking about, can't, for some reason, can't do. Go and plug up your old console. Oh man, it's too much to do that, man. Okay, so, so you ought to spend the money then just put time and effort? I mean, I have my, I have my Wii, my Dreamcast, my Wii U, and my Switch all plugged up to, a t to the TV. Why? Because I just want a little difference once in a while. If I want to play those older games, I ain't got to pay nothing. And I ain't got to worry about, oh, well, optimize, blah, 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 no. But to finish out the point of what I'm doing this video for is like, so one game, and I'm seeing all the posts from everybody saying, Capcom, including, I'm uh, um, sorry, RG, um, R RGT85. Um, 2008 is going to be mega. Eh, well, let's see what happened. I'm a way to see person in that regard. I've been, like I said, I've seen too much time Capcom done too much stupid stuff. Hell, look right now, in December, they're going to release um, Street Fighter's Arcade. The game that should have really been released in the first place. Street Fighter 5 Arcade. That should have been, that's what the game should have been in the first place. And it wasn't. All the stuff you have for a cheaper price. Y'all gonna go gobble it up. I'm not doing that. Now again, Mega Man Collection, you wanna go buy, spend your money? Do what you wanna do. Spend your money the way it is. I'm not telling you not to spend your money, and I'm not even telling you to boycott, because it's not. I'm just worried. I'm not, I'm not, I ain't gonna say worried. I'm just seeing that one, one game changes everything. Oh, this is crazy. This is gonna, no. It gonna take a lot of years I would say years for Capcom to get out of the pit that they, they dug themselves in and they made a lot of decision now can they dig themselves out of the, the, the pit of 2017 where they started off the first quarter with a two, um, two million um, dollar loss with this, this, with this right now they might have they might crack the ship we'll see but I'm sorry I can't can't do that. Pick up the game if you enjoy to do enjoy the game. No, base it on its own merits and enjoy the game. Hopefully they did a great competent game. No DLC bull crap. Full game. None of that stuff. You buy it, you own it, you have fun with it. But as a company, no, I'm not doing that. Just like with EA, and just like a video I posted on Google Plus. At the end of the video, uh, uh, he was 100% honest. 
those guys, I think Wildlife is the name of the people do it. At the end of that, the first video, at the end of that video, they say the same thing. If you don't want EA to do what they're doing, don't buy the games. Don't be no... Because, as according to, I was seeing some more information, they were saying Hawaii banned the game from, from Hawaii. You think that stopped people from getting the game? They could do it digitally. They don't have to get it physically. Do people not understand that? And also, they changed, EA changed it because they did the deluxe the version of um, the game to give the still pay to win kind of system. You know what happened? They changed their policy for returns. And this is the thing where all these guys are like, oh man, digital games are getting better. We, this is what the future is. Just like a, just like a, uh, a cell phone. It might, be a, it might be convenient, but we're losing something in the convenience. But that's just my two cents on things. Anyway, wish everybody out there a good day. And again, don't take it the wrong way. I legitimately, if you want the game and you want to go buy it, go ahead. But for some I've seen that says Capcom is getting the hell out of their ass just because of one game. Sorry, that's sad to me. Too sad. And I wish you, I wish, I hope, I hope I'm wrong. And 2018, Capcom does not only a Mega Man, but other games that prove me and maybe other people who feel the same I am different and wrong. So, you know the deal? There's no perfect games out there. What's perfect to you is not perfect to me. What's perfect to me is not perfect to you. Simply enjoy your game on all consoles, even PC.